and the fittings will be coming out of each side as our release and our return, like so. Okay, now we're going to be joining our two pieces of PVC for our housing back together. And uh, we're going to start by uh, using our purple primer, which is very good stuff, but uh, try not to get anything too important. The trick is to try and get it done reasonably fast. You do have a good amount of time to set with this stuff, but um, too long and you'll start seeing problems. No. Final time this will ever have to come away. Now we are going to drill the holes in our end cap here uh, for our intake and exhaust ports for the hydrogen and the um, refill for the water. Make sure you get everything centered and lined up. You only want to do this once. Okay, now we have the Teflon on our brass fittings for the tube liners here. And now we're going to secure them into our fasteners. Just so we know whether or not everything is airtight. We'll take our rubber air hose tubing, that this is rated for up to 300 PSI, just to be safe. Hook it up to one of our ports. Get it on there nice and good. And I'd say um, as far as atmospheric pressure goes, we don't really expect too much pressure to be inside this unit. Um, just enough to um, return the gas, just to make sure enough these lines are tight. So I'm going to blow into this end, and I'm going to hold my finger over this and make sure that this is airtight, because we do not want our hydrogen escaping into anywhere else but into our intake manifold. And it's as hard as I can blow, this thing is not giving me anything back, it's not giving me an edge. 